ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Sidemen Reacts channel today. Myself, Toby, and Vic are looking at the top 10 worst animated movie ripoffs. I want to see, like, oh, go on, Toby, give us a pun. I want to hear a pun. Frozen, give me a, a ripoff version. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Thawed. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I want to see Thawed. That sounds kind of lit, you know? It sounds like Thor did something. You're not even trying. Surrender, <laughs> my <laughs> inferior foe! <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're <clears throat> counting down our picks for the top 10 worst that animated did just say movie chop ripoffs. Kick Panda, by Before the way. we begin, we publish new okay. videos every day, I, I so be it. sure to subscribe for more great <laughs> content. For this list, we're looking at movies that are considered by many to be pale imitations of classic animated features that were made solely for the purpose of cashing in on the popularity of famous films. Hey guys, I just had me a crazy idea. Number 10, no. Bug Bites, An Ant's Life. Ant's Life Wait. is a quality <laughs> film, you know. That what is, is that? Ant's Life. Do you oh, ever watch it? Is. Yeah, it's it, it is, It's just, it's just the vibes. Ant's Life? Yeah. No, it's Bugs Life and It's Bugs Life, life and Ants. Yeah. Oh, Bugs Life. <laughs> I was <laughs> confused. I said yeah to seeing it. <laughs> yeah. It's tired, I'm late. Right, let's oh, go. God. Remember when people called Ants a ripoff of Pixar as a Bugs Life? Both well, great films. Seeing... Uh, I was talking about films. Ants. I was talking about Ants, not Bugs Life. I both know you were. <laughs> I, 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 I made a mashup. Made a mashup. They're both great. It's travesty, you'll find a whole new this appreciation is not. for this the is dream life. life. <laughs> With 3D animation, this just looks, looks like a more kids finished, version of it, awful though. Awful voice acting and irritating sound quality. This flick that goes on for too long. long and you see what Manny keeps putting up on his Insta stories, where he's like, "What is this?" And it's like a kids show. It's like really bad. Oh, the, the carrot thing. Yeah, this looks like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I met them. They're not very bright. We guess it's about a caterpillar and some ants trying to survive ants a gecko bunda, by the way. <laughs> look at it. Oh, oh look at that bunda. Apparently, the creators thought watching insects scuttle back like and it. forth for I half an like hour counts as entertainment. I look like Bark. He can't see me. No problem. It's not awful, you know. Number nine. It wasn't the awful. It wasn't. Hua. Voice acting was wet. You will be soldier who <laughs> are. Ah. Turns out that the company that made this. Why she got three legs? She got Three, six, she got six, six legs, bit. I think he's tired. <laughs> <laughs> he's been in that office for too long. Get him out of there. He needs <laughs> Every single movie, he's gonna Put say something wrong. Put me on holiday. Put me on holiday. Adaptation has a long history of reworking beloved films into what's become known as the Secret of series. That Entries include the then. Secret of the Hunchback. Wait, so they the just Secret take of... they just take the film and go the Secret of? I mean, to be fair. If it was, if we're talking about, you know, animated movie ripoffs, free, uh, Avatar's a ripoff, isn't it? Ripoff of what? It's basically just, is it Pocahontas? Yeah, Pocahontas. Oh. Whereas a giant tree, there's... Yeah, but it's like a ripoff of the story more than the actual animation. The storyline more than the animation, Yeah. Right? Yeah, they just painted people blue. That's about it. Avatar, I'm so. throwing this I out I think Avatar's way. a rip-off of Smurfs, mate. Smurfs, yeah, I knew that's coming. <laughs> yeah. Go on, at James Cameron while you're at it, come on. I'm throwing it out there, Avatar stinks. I really enjoyed Avatar. Yeah, what's I wanted the, what's to be an Avatar after I watched it. What's the stuff that's really hard to, what's, what's the unobtainable stuff called in that? Unobtainium. Oh, wow, 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 good one there. That was a great one. <laughs> yeah, no, shit movie. <laughs> yeah, it's a good... the box and of course, the secret <laughs> of Mulan. So how does it fare? Well, not only has the Mulan entry been wings? called a bastardization of one I'm of animation's wings. greatest female characters, it goes a step further by throwing in elements right out of a bug's life. Sorry, Flick. You and your friends have been ripped off twice on this list. So they all just okay. Make your mind off. Which film, which, which I know it's going to be here. What's up? Balloon to the rescue. Don't tell me this is hey, up. Hey, my genius. Up wasn't out at this point, was it? This mock oh my God. Not only dumps on the original Pixar epic. It's also a confusing schlock fest. For some reason, what the fest? filmmakers behind What's Up didn't think a flying house was thrilling enough, so they tossed in some magic. What? If you stick around long <laughs> enough, you might. This is Ghostbusters. Bro, they just think of like five films and put them into one. So, what we got? We got Ghostbusters, we got. Up, uh, what else? I mean, that looks like Rick and Morty's Rick and Morty. sister. <laughs> Bro, that ain't Rick and Morty. <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying that's Morty's sister on the left. It is Morty's sister. And that's Rick in the middle. Just... He's on the right. He's saying Morty Ace like that. That's, that's Josh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Asking 
why a magical stone's sole function is to turn a house into part hot air balloon, or why they go out of their way to be racist towards a supporting character that happens to be Chinese. Oh. Arigato! No problem, but Arigato is Japanese. Oh, I'm no. Chinese. My name is Ching Ling. However, we'll forgive uh. you if you don't even make it that far after seeing the questionable Why? 3D animation. It wasn't even we'll be heroes <laughs> only after we send it. those monsters back to another dimension, okay? Number seven, Kiara the Brave, also known as the Super Shrek. K. You've given me everything, but I'm still missing excitement. <laughs> Many consider this that a is terrible some film animation. that should have never been forced onto the viewing right, public. But it's also called a travesty because when it was shipped to the United States, oh, the distributors okay. rebranded it, it to though. cash in on it. the latest Pixar Are release, these not Brave. Before. Like, what was that before? Was this not 2009 or something, did it not say? And then Brave was 2012. Let me go back, let me go back, let me go back. Brave. Also known as Super K. And then Brave was 2012. You've given me everything, but I'm still missing excitement. It was released 2012, but it was made before. Many consider this a terrible Maybe. film that should have never been forced onto the viewing public. But it's also called a travesty because when it was shipped to the United States, yeah. the distributors rebranded Bro, it to the cash in on the latest Pixar release. Brave. Wait, no. Where did they oh, take? I don't know. Look, this is before. You snooze, you lose. You take too long. Wait. You're the ripper. But she said something about it being shipped to the United States and then rebranded. Oh. So it wasn't called Kiara the Brave initially. Unless it was called Brave. And they actually released it. Oh, so look, it was called Super K before and then they rebranded it to Kiara the Brave. Oh. I think. I don't Pick care. the king. <laughs> I heard them say the netherworld. Funnily enough, Minecraft. Kiara the Brave involves neither medieval Scotland nor a coming of age story where a strong female protagonist tries to forge her own path. These what do we get instead? A superhero They're called scary. Super K trying to defend the world of Dragon Ball. Zone As a kid, I would be terrified. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. While Kiara stands in the Never background doing pretty much nothing. <laughs> As kids, we don't have the power she to call it destiny. She's a kid. Do we? Number six, Tappy Toes. Don't be flappy feet. Just Tappy feet. Follow my lead. <laughs> I said flappy feet, by the way. Here we get I know, I heard it. <laughs> horrendous 3D animation. Bro, and I'm even old, treated I'm to old. a higher standard of voice work. But for most people, that doesn't save Tappy Toes from being another train wreck. This looks lit. The limits of flash yeah, animation become lie. clear early I like on, these animations. as this short happily rips that. off the That's plot true. of Happy Feet, minus the stellar dance sequences and the Robin Williams. Uh, uh, you like it, you like it, you want it, I got it. Sure, it tries to throw in some self-referential humor, but considering there's an uncomfortable scene where a hermit crab threatens to pinch a sea lion in not so child-friendly places, Tappy Toes manages to tap itself out. Uh, I'd watch this. Number five. I was Top kids. Oh, there you go. There's your one. Oh, the much better. It may only be 40 something minutes long, but out of the many, many kind of rip offs, the this is the one that video. made people feel like they'd gone several <laughs> rounds with the Furious Five. Brought to us by the folks who created Tappy Toes, Chopkick Panda uh. is another entry where the animation is the high point. Everything else is I mean, a panda sized good. mesh of stupidity. Would you watch this? Yeah, I'd watch that. Yeah, go on then. Once again, it pretty much follows the original beat for beat, Maybe on but the ridiculousness Network. of its rushed plot and attempts to focus on humor over action leave Chopkick Panda feeling disjointed and utterly pointless. Do you ever think that people animating this stuff realize that their audience is really young and they're just like, I don't care? Like, a lot of like, the kids' content on YouTube is just so, like, like lazily done but it doesn't matter because it's going because the like, kids really won't care yeah, yeah they yeah, just yeah, they just yeah, want yeah. to see colors precisely yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> einstein number four the legend of cirilla stop he'll freeze to death I've never heard of this this canadian animation incurred the wrath of disney well no i think and this is the ripple. shocking considering right. its title was changed know, maybe. to frozen land for the u.s market subtle the shaman says the spirits are angry so with I the think. clan again this is a pretty no big blunder by the distributors because while the story focuses on the less than enthralling tale of an Inuit shaman and his animal friends, the name and even the signature logo were designed to match oh my Disney's God. Frozen. Uh, I'll Nobody be honest, I ain't seen Frozen. Legend of Cirilla might have thought what? their film was yeah. just a blip on- Are you serious? Yeah, I've never seen it. Um, that's poor from you, man. 
Do you don't know who Olaf is? No, I I know I know all about it, bro. Memes are everywhere. I know all of it. I just you need to watch it. that. That Vic, is a top quality. Film. I'm gonna try and spin this off me, Vic. You seen Lion King yet? Oh, no. I yeah, no, I watched it ages and ages ago. Yeah, I just I hadn't seen it at that point, like six years ago, and then oh. I watched it. He went his okay, whole well back to you, sir. No, 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 <laughs> you seen Vic? You seen Monsters Inc? Yeah. Vic, you seen uh, <laughs> uh, Toy Story? All of them. One, two, three, and four. Not all of them. Not all. Ah, uh, Vic, I'm well, Vic. Seen, I haven't seen. I haven't seen the latest one actually. I should. Yo, got get him. Either. Good. Attack him. Good. <laughs> Attack him. <laughs> no, but Simon, watch Frozen though. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> On the radar, but in the end, the Mouse House sees all. The creators should have done themselves a favor and just. Let it go. What the? This song gives oh, me goosebumps. Shoot, this is a banger. Is an Number three, the Frog Prince. Why can't dude. I find my Prince Charming? Based on the reviews, you can basically <laughs> summarize this mockbuster in one word. Lazy. Lazy because they only use a handful of locations. Lazy because the voice work involves insulting imitations of like supposedly the cowardly black dog accents. Guy. And lazy oh because gosh, we immediately yeah. dislike many of the characters. Well, that's it. There's nothing more I can do. Bro, this is While exactly Disney's what you're saying. Look at those flowers the in the background. Well, that's exactly it. what Simon There's said. Nothing that is lazy. Who has a pot of flowers that looks like that? Me? <laughs> That's cap. That's cap. That's cap. <laughs> Nothing more I can do. While Disney's The Princess Damn, and the Frog gave us magic, great chemistry between the lead characters, and important life lessons, all we get here is a princess who throws tantrums, a king who resents his daughter's independent attitude, and a frog who will say practically anything just to score. I can. <laughs> Of course I can. That's some creepy. <laughs> That's <laughs> creepy. Chef Marcel Toying prepares the most delicious the and Brad's exotic doing? dishes, yeah. always using well, special secret ingredients. They may trade Paris for Rio de Janeiro, but this ripoff remains just as blatant no matter where you set it. Obviously taking American liberties Ratatouille. from the five-star meal that That's is Pixar's film, right? Ratatouille. The plot follows a rodent head chef who tries to keep his restaurant open and defeat his competitors. How does he do that? By Animation stealing fresh ingredients from human kitchens in sequences that I mean, try to imitate a, five keepers of old. And a different which, story line. at least according to most people who've watched is it, it, fail miserably well, on every no conceivable humans. level. Do yourself a favor and skip this meal. Skip I'm it. afraid I don't find that to be particularly funny, Greg. Number one, the a car's is called life. Greg. Sparky's <laughs> big adventure. I'll take a car wash tomorrow. That's what you said yesterday. Uh, cars life. Cars wasn't exactly the <laughs> pinnacle of Pixar's creativity, mm. but it's still a decent and entertaining film, especially in comparison to this. <laughs> Bro, Throughout that this chopped bad. together mess, we're subjected to protagonist <laughs> slash motorized douchebag Sparky, who only exists to cause chaos wherever he goes. Along the way, yeah, we're I'm treated to lie. what could only right. be described as an onslaught of terrible animation, awful voice acting, and a collection of some truly detestable automobiles. Do you know what's the sad part? It's like she sat here like this is terrible animation, but actually doing all of this is probably really difficult, especially yeah. if you're not a big studio. <laughs> you just get you're not wrong. On. We are shitting on people's <laughs> work. Here. Like really yeah. good animation. Like uh, on, it's just not. Like Hollywood level. Yeah. Like this is actually it would be really difficult to do. It's about as cheap a mockbuster as you can get. So we'll never understand how it managed to spawn. <laughs> just multiple it wish calls. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. Do you agree with our picks? Up. Check out these other great <laughs> clips from Watch Mojo. Oh. Yeah, you have to watch one right now. Which one? Um, um the penguin one. Same. Yeah, the, yeah, 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 with the happy toes. The walrus, with happy the toes. Sea lion or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Flappy feet, as Simon says. Hey, sharp. I don't need to talk about. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe and uh, bye.